Yeah, I mean these. I mean these levels, whilst technically quite impressive, um, you know, I I personally think that a lot of them, like they, you know, the stuff in them is just too spread out. Yeah, maybe. It's part of taking like the Ocarina of Time geography, basically, and using yeah. it. Oh, of the world going on there. Yeah. This is, the so this is Grunty's living room then. Oh, it's the oh. Wii U version even. Oh wow! I was like, you've got a black switch. Okay, that's weird. And then I realised it was a Wii U. Um, no, I don't think these. This is not a climbable book, guys. What's around up here? Okay, so we've got some of the chomper, painting chompers up there. There's a Wii U gamepad there. Ah, you reckon we can get up onto the... Uh, aha! Some polygon perfect jumping there. Oh! James. And a shock jump book, it would seem. Oh man, you're right! <laughs> Look at that! That could have been quite the flummoxer. Not for my incandescent brain. But a good eye to you, a good eye. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> That's not how that works, that. I mean, that, better not, work, that, better, that better not be how it works, because that's a horrible jump to force somebody to make. No. Ah, okay, so it looks like there's another shock jump book on the other side. Just where yeah, you I can uh, see it. fell off. I can see the shotgun book. Up the shotgun go. book. The shock jump book. You said shotgun book. I didn't say shotgun book, okay? It's a completely different thing. No, no I think you said shotgun. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't say that. That's a completely different kind of book. Shotgun. It, it's a book that you get in like a game like Fallout to improve your shotgun skill. I suppose it's shotgun. I suppose it's a shotgun, right? Which is a kind of gum that's really, really shocking when you eat it. Like electric gum. Alcoholic, alcoholic chewing gum. Ooh, that'd be great. A shot in every, a shot in every. I don't know. What all separate bits? Nope. Of... Ah. Not several bits of chewing gum called, like, tablets? It's a piece of chewing gum. I don't know. Capsules? Pellets? Nah, pellets It's usually a stick like... of chewing gum, right? I uh, see, I'm thinking of stuff like, um, you know, like the, slight, like the slightly rounded stuff. Yeah, you I think you're thinking of like, like extra, for example, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well this is a little bit, um... That was worth trying. Oh! Ah, wait a minute. Okay, so that is actually another shock jump book. It's just that yeah. it's one which is extremely tiny. We cross here. Yeah. Very clever. I like it. Hey, there Easy. we go. So now look across the other door. So I'm pretty Got sure jumper. there's. Ah. I can see one. Ah! Way to take the win out of my sails. Well, you know, I was already. I only thought about the shock drum books because you found the first one, right? Yeah, that's true. Team effort. No, it's a tea effort. There is no tea in team. There is actually, but there's no natural 20 in team. Damn it. Hoisted. Hoisted by my online username. Uh, right, ow. so that looks like. What? How do you manage I, that? I clipped the uh, wall. Um, well, it's even if you just brush against the wall, then it immediately. Not if I brush against it, as the... I was falling. So as yeah. I beat, 
I landed just on it and then I fell off immediately. Ah, uh, I see, I see. And so it registers me just falling rather than uh, me using the glitch. It's in here. So we've explored the bedroom, the living room, storeroom. I'm just willing to bet this is the kitchen. I know it's the toilet. Even worse! There's a ginger up there behind the curtain. Oh boy. Oh, you. you. Well, I feel a little bit ill just looking at that. Oh, but a Neek and Bokum. Yes. Precious, precious Bokums. <laughs> Man, Logo was bad enough, but. Okay, what? Hmm. Okay, so suddenly it's gone Super Mario themed. And we're at Peach's Castle. I'm okay with this. I'm fine with this. Well, this has gone this this a little weird. Oh, this is a nice remix. Alright. How many did that make? Four? Yeah. Nice. E mm, so that's the cannon. We need to get the Vanish Cap to So I want to go like look at this now. Very oh. cool. Oh wow. Bumbo's really uh, gone up on the board. Okay, we might have enough. I'm hoping it's 25. 25? Nah, 25 was the last one. Oh, really? Well, then Pretty we're sure. completely screwed. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, okay, actually, actually, no, we might, no, we might, no, you're right, we might have enough. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Okay, so there's got to be some way to get out to the back. Yeah, there must be. I don't want to transform until... We've done... Actually, we'll transform to see what it is, but then we yeah. are behind it. Anything around the back? No? Hmm. So this is going to be the walrus, I'm pretty sure. What? Uh, so what? We are a. Um... We are a slush puppy, clearly. Wow. We have gone up in the world. All right, I'm gonna transform like, back and see if we can like find a way around the back of the castle. Like being back in the I remember those being delicious, and then I had one a few years ago, and I was like, what was I thinking? You see, I remember them looking, I, I, I remember thinking as a kid that they looked delicious, thinking, wow, you know, this is, you know, this is, you know, th you know this is the height of being cool, you know, rolling, then, down the, rolling, rolling down the street on a skateboard or on your rollerblades. Okay. You know, with your, you know, with your, you know, with your Sony Walkman. Oh, Walkmans. And your Game Boy Pocket. Hey, that was a or, legit... That was or, legit. Was or, the Game Boy or, if you were really, really cool, a Game Boy Light. And holding a slush puppy in one hand. And then I actually had one. I remember thinking as a kid, like, you know, this is disgusting. 
but I had been completely suckered into it by the advertising for Slush Puppies on the back of the Nintendo official magazine's um, official guide to Pokemon Red and Blue. I am exceedingly confused. There has to be something that we've missed. I mean, it's... Well, you see where the cannon is? Sure. There's a hole. Yes. Which oh, is God, causing again, the no camera to really freak out. Okay, yeah, it looks like you're going to transform. You've got to transform. Alright, great. You've got to transform now. I mean, you can go and explore the other rooms in Grunty's castle if you want, but... You know, no, we'll transform now, why not? Let's transform for the heck of it. I hate it when that happens. You come to a dead stop on the thing, and it's just like, nope! It's about the only- What the- Oh god! Oh no! Oh. Unfortunately, this is not Banjo Tui, so we can't have a fully functioning dishwasher. Ooh, that's a point, actually. We haven't come across anywhere like Treasure Trove Cove, which allows us to input cheats, have we? No, we haven't. Ah, damn. So I wonder if there's anywhere, you know, we can input the equivalent of Wishy Washy Banjo. Oh, what a great code. Don't tell her about the secret in her cellar. You know, years and years later, they uh, found out that there's a whole bunch of codes, like codes for doing pretty much anything. For, oh, really? uh, um, for unlocking every single world in the game, for removing various obstacles in Grunty's lair, even for unlocking oh. tre tre even for unlocking Treasure Trove Cove itself, which um, what? Well, well, yes, well, quite. Which suggests that perhaps the code, the the cheat code thing was planned to be in Mumbo's Mountain at some point, or maybe outside Grunty's lair altogether. But um, oh, that's so weird. Oh no, an Ekenbokum. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get In them. what possible world oh. could you ever. Ooh, hello. Well, I suppose it's possible that. Ah, oh, it's grabbed by the ghoulies. I suppose it's possible that um, the cheats were meant to be. Um... So, you know how you get the cheats from bottles? You, well, you get some of the cheats from bottles uh, after doing his. Um, his paintings. Yes, I remember. Maybe, well, here's his jigsaw puzzles back at the house. Maybe it's possible that um, you're meant to do them there as well. It's, it's, you're meant to unlock the actual stuff there. Hmm, that looks oh, like a suspicious be... block. Don't, don't jump into the hole which, which has a great big skull on it. I'm not going to jump into the hole with the skull on it. I'm not that crazy. I mean... Okay, I'm confused, right? In case we've, in case we've got these things. Okay, whoa, 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 I'm confused. Why does this exist? So you can get some notes. I suppose so. But what about that? What about that bit in there? Yeah, yeah I can see it. You thought it was just a wonky texture, but no. No, no, I didn't think it was wonky texture. I knew it was there, but I wanted to investigate the other thing first because I was confused. Oh no, you don't get. Okay, there's a there's a rail. It's fine. No, we, I mean, we, look, we've established that if we die, if we fall off one of these things, then we're probably not going to lose our, all of our notes. I mean, you say that, but this is the final level. Mm, yeah, that's true. Let's put that theory to the test! We are definitely dead, and we definitely lost all our notes, though. Well, I blame this on you, Nat. I, I swearly put the blame on you for this. Okay, well, I'm going to transform back. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I'll transform back. It's fine. Because we'll need to go back there at some point anyway. Oh, my God. So, are we going to Rusty Bucket Bay Engineering in this? Are we going to deliberately go and transform so that we can get those notes first? I think we have to. Like, that's so insanely difficult and dangerous relative to everything else. On the other hand, Nat, look, we can now go and um, unlock all those other nodals. Yeah, we can, but we can do that like any time. We need to get that one first. It's way too dangerous otherwise. That's true. Well, I want to check this first, though. 
This is the uh, secret fairy fountain, isn't it? Yeah. Aha! Double health! Yes, please. I mean, I don't think we've ever actually died normally. Well, how many times have we died normally as opposed to dying by falling into a bottomless pit? We haven't died because of loss of health, ever. Well, there you go. But it will be useful for the final boss, I suppose. Yes, it will. So I shall stop being grumpy. I mean, like, you, you have a right to be slightly grumpy that we lost all our notes. No, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I... I'm just... I'm just... I'm... I'm... I was... I was... I wasn't surprised. It was... It was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah. All right. Okay, so do we unlock... Do we actually unlock all of the doors here? Yeah, we unlocked everything here. Except, of course, we can't actually now tell because... Because yeah. everything reset, I know. I should have made a save state. Just for convenience. But then that would not be... that. Then that wouldn't have been the authentic experience. That's true. We're not going to put the viewers through us collecting everything again, though. I'll do that at some point. That's fair. I suspect this recording is actually cut in half as a result of this. Okay. So as soon as we get this uh, well, get, transformation jiggy get... done. Yeah, okay. So are you that... okay. Go for it, T. No, that's what I was going to say. Are you going to... Are you going to... I'll just re-clear everything that we haven't cleared already. Well, everything that we've already cleared, basically. Cool. Afterwards. Damn it, Lumbo. Come on. I must stand still, I suppose we're all funny. I wonder if that's... Is there any way to actually, you know, to manually affect whether or not that happens? I don't think so. Yeah, this is pure luck. Uh, you've got to... Oh, uh, I see it's frozen, yeah, that's why. Yeah, you've got to go on in the cannon. And it looks like there's even notes down there. And there's a... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, there are notes inside here. I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to see what happens if you if you actually fall down that pit. Well, we can try that as well. Yeah. I say that we're going to get this uh, first thing done. Yeah. Well, and then call it a day. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So that I uh, can refarm everything for everyone. So, I mean, we. I mean, we've got we've got enough episodes to last us, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Cool. I mean, if you uh, want to, I mean, if you want to record one day this week, then I'm then I'm happy to do that. So. Yeah, we've got plenty. Okay, so after that slightly embarrassing incident, we're back for attempt number two. That oh. are you going to save save state? No, I'm not going to save state. You're going to do this the proper way. I like. If I that. fail again, then I will say it. Uh, okay. Now remember, you know how you hop when yeah. you move. You can hop. You can bounce at that. You can't. You bounce at the, like the peak of each hop. Maybe. Hmm. I need to experiment with how this jump works. Okay. That's the only. That's the only way I see you being able to clear this stuff. Basically, you sort of hop out onto the thing. You sort of hop out a bit, and then you jump. A bit weird. Because you can do that, right? Mm. Where you're gonna hop down the side. This is really tricky, actually. That's the kind of jump you want to do. Yeah. But I wouldn't I, I wouldn't I wouldn't rely on that. I wouldn't rely on that. No, I wouldn't gonna... either. Oh! Impeccable music timing. Impeccable musical timing. <sighs> oh well, never mind, eh?
How about we go and see, at least see what those those note doors do now? Or do you want to do the transformation? We're going first? to do this first. We will do everything else after we have done this. Are we going to show any of this? Um, we will show the multiple deaths. Okay. And I'll also show us obviously getting the uh, power up. Alright, okay. And I will save state at this point. Yeah. Just to save some time. If you're, you know, if you're walking towards it normally. There we go. It's almost like I don't you're know coming, what's going on. It's almost like you were coming to a dead stop and then and then jumping. Well, I I I've I lost track of how many attempts that was. But it was enough to make me physically grimace. So I hope you're happy. And if you fall down. Yeah, I'm not taking that last jump if I can avoid it. Right, okay. That jump is brutal, I'm sorry. It's really hard for no good reason. Because, like, transformation jumps are iffy at the best of times. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, these, um, see, and now you're managing to clear all the, now you're managing to do all these. I don't know what's happening, okay. Can you go through the window? Is it, uh, invisible? No. Nope. Okay. Those, um, those grates which are spewing out, um, hot fumes, presumably, um, they're actually, um, they are actually in Banjo-Kazooie, they're, um, unused objects from Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, really? Yeah. They're there to make the engine room even worse? Uh, no. Um, I think the general consensus is that, you know, um, when you swim up the, um, the bit of the ship, the hole in the ship, which has, which uh, takes you to the, um, which has the, you know, which, uh, with the anchor chain. Sure. Um, and you have to go through that little corridor to get to the room containing the jiggy. Uh, yeah. I think the general consensus is that they were meant to be in that little corridor there. I see. So, the presence of a Sir Slush kind of suggests that you're meant to be able to fly. I mean, there's red feathers around here as well. Yeah. This is going to be a mystery for another time, because what I'm going to do is I'm going that to re like everything that, that we did. That, look, that looks like a mysterious ledge over there. Did you see it to, to your right? My right. Immediately turns to the left. Look at that thing over there. That line in the cliff. What line? To the right. Ooh. There. Yeah. Interesting. In any case, uh, I will re-clear everything. I will come back to you with a clear level. Uh, and with this Jiggy and these notes intact, and then we'll start pick up from there and see if we can get to the end of Jiggies of Time. Oh, wow. So does this mean that this session is going to be you're going to go back and you're going to find all the other notes that we've missed not all the notes that we've missed I'll try and get everything that we already got okay so I should have somewhere in the region of 90 to 95 notes by the time we're done no but I mean are you going to get all of the notes that we missed in the other levels no no I'm not going to do that because I would involve leaving this level and oh, I can't true. do that oh, that's true oh, that's true okay well <laughs> we'll get all the notes in this world and then maybe and then maybe yeah I mean come on I mean you couldn't Hmm. I've just noticed, actually, if you look at those trees, they kind of look like they've got a grinning face on them. They do, don't they? It's very yeah, strange. Yeah, like... Um, yeah. Like a monkey. Uh, yeah, that's... um. Oof. Okay, that's slightly sinister. Okay. We'll look over here now. I don't want it. Okay, uh, I don't want any more. I don't want any more of this now. This is creepy. Guys, thank you very, very much for watching, and we will catch you all next time. See ya.